Now, what you're seeing here is a blood sample from myself. I ate about five hours ago. I did have a juice, so that might be part of what we're seeing in the blood. I'm going to just show you, point out a few things. So we have these round cells here are the red blood cells. And we should have thousands, millions of those in one drop of blood. Um, I shall move the slide around so we can get to see some different bits and pieces. The black background that these cells are floating in is the plasma. This is the blood plasma now, you know, the blood is mostly water, plasma, and you can see that there's quite a lot there and it's a sort of substance that the blood cells float around in and drift about in, if they can, and if the plasma is, is, is free of obstacles and is allowing them to float. Um, we can see here that a lot of these red blood cells are actually connected together, which we'll learn more about why that may be when we go into a lot more detail about the blood. But for now, I just want to introduce you. I'm going to see if I can find a white blood cell for you to see. Um, there's lots of red blood cells all connected together. Oh, what's that? That looks like a white blood cell. I'm going to refocus a bit to see if we can get some more detail. Yes. It's a very small white blood cell, and that is actually one of the signatures in my blood is I have small white blood cells. So that's not unusual for me, but you wouldn't know that until you start looking at blood lots. Um, let me see what else. You can see lots of things. Can you see lots of things buzzing around, little particles buzzing around in the plasma there? Now these could be food particles that are still being cleared out of my blood. It could be from the juice that I had and um, that would be expected. If somebody had just eaten, that plasma would be full of these white particles just floating around and buzzing about. It's not quite as much because I haven't had solids, it's really just the juice. It will be all the little particles that I had in the juice floating around. I want, oh there's a white blood cell. There you go, again, it's a small one, but you can start to see, if I can blow that up a little bit more. Let's see if we can see any more detail. I'll see if I can find focus it a bit more. Here you can see a very gray sort of uh, area there. These are actually the lobes of the nucleus of the white blood cell. They should be a lot more defined. Um, so that's a white blood cell with grey fuzzy nucleus lobe, nuclei lobes. Right, let's have a look around, see if we can find anything else. Lots of red blood cells, as you would imagine. Here there are some more. Again, small fuzzy white blood cells. You can see why the white blood cells get called white blood cells, because under the microscope they glow white. There's another one. There you can see, oh, there's a pulse. That can sometimes happen. A pulse of something goes through the, the blood and they moves around and it separates the blood cells a little bit more so you can see them more individually. You can see that there. So that, that is blood magnified a thousand times using a dark field microscope. And what you saw me do there, take my blood sample, mount it up on the microscope and get to this position where I can actually view the blood and show a client, is something that you are going to learn how to do during this course. But at this point, you're right at the beginning. So I really hope this has inspired you a little bit, whet your appetite for what's to come. And now you're ready to move on to the next section of the course, which is the...